Polish ukulele says this is another video. This time we are doing Green Day's Good Riddance Time of Your Life. This song is in the key of G major and we're sticking with the key this time. And although this is a regular strummy song, we're going to make it quite interesting by adding in some finger picking patterns and we're going to look at some different chord shapes as well. What this will do is we'll really layer it up, it can elevate it and make it sound a little bit more exciting than your happy-go-lucky strummy strummy strum. If you like this video, leave me a comment below. If you really love the video, you can check out all of my lesson materials, PDFs for all of the lessons that I have done previously over at my Buy Me A Coffee page on Ukulele Saz, you'll find me and you'll also find me there on social media on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with my weird and wonderful journey as a full-time ukulele teacher in Glasgow, Scotland. So this song, as we said, is in the key of G. So we're gonna need the chords G, C, D, and E minor. And as you can hear, I'm using a low G ukulele as well, because I just really like this using this song. You can also play different variations of the chord. So we've got the G shape, but we can play C, on frets 7 and 8 and D and frets 9 and 10. Normally that will sound better with a high G string on the ukulele but because we're playing in the key of G I think it sounds quite nice because we've constantly got that root note, the tonic, ringing throughout the song so this time it works pretty nicely. Another way you can play the G chord is with the pointy finger on the fifth fret, other two fingers on 7 and then what I do to change to E minor from there is I just add the pinky also on the 7th fret. And there's a couple of variations. If you like bar chords, you've got the F shape on fret 2. Add the pinky, like you would for D minor, for E minor. And then we're going up to the 3rd fret for C, and it's like an A chord. Boom, here. And then for D, we just move up by 2 in the same shape. And you can use any of these shapes throughout the song. However, for this video, I'm going to stick just to the nice, easy chords and we'll chat about these ones towards the end of the video. So there are a couple of different chord progressions that repeat throughout this song. This song is fairly repetitive and short, so you should learn these ones fairly quickly. But we'll go through them one step at a time. So we start with G, 2, 3, 4, G, 2, 3, 4, C, 2, 3, 4, D. Do that for the intro. Two, three, four, G, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, D, two, three, four. And that happens whenever we go back to an instrumental part of the song. The next chord progression we have is E minor. And then D, two, three, four, C. And then G. Then E minor. And then again, sorry, D, C. G. And that is pretty much how we play our verse as well. So the first chord progression twice and then that chord progression there twice as well. So when we put that all together, we're going to put that with down, down, up, up, down, up for just now. So let's try and give that a little go with down, down, up, up, down, up. So one, two, three and G. for the intro but each time we play the verse G G C D G G C D and then the second progression E minor D C G E minor D C G that then brings us into the chorus where we will play E minor two three four G G, G, C, D chord progression. 
and we stick with down, down up, up, down up throughout the entire song. The GGCD is quite interesting because it's a very, very common chord progression where we play what's called the 1-4-5. You might have heard people speaking about that before. And all that simply is, is you're playing the three major chords in succession starting from the root. So G is the root note, so we play G, and then we play C, and then we play D right after. So what we'll do is we'll do a little run through. We'll play the intro twice, we'll play the verse, and we'll play the chorus. We'll do that with down, down, up, up, down, up, because that will give us a solid bass. That pretty much repeats for the verse, and then we just play the chorus a few more times and it's done. So intro, verse, chorus, we'll stop. And then we'll look at some variations on there as well. So one, two, one, two, three, and. happy strum along but we want to make it a little more interesting than that this is a really good song to listen to because you can really hear the guitar so it's a really good way to try and replicate things first of all if you really love the strumming as the song progresses you'll hear that the strumming starts to elevate itself there's a lot more strums in there as well so you can take that down down up up down up we'll stick with G G C D and you can add in some extra strums so normally we would play down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Easy. What you can do is double it up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. So you can add your own little twist in there. You can. Down, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, up. Whatever feels right. A lot of you like, like to strum by feel. So I want you to use that to your advantage. Try and add in some extra strums, especially if that foundation is there. Try and build on it. A little challenge would be to actually write down, what are you strumming? And can you fit that into the count of four? The way we would break down, 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 up, up, down, up, which is one, two, and, and four, and. A nice little challenge and food for thought for you. Now, as you can also hear in the song, especially at the beginning, he starts by picking the song. So you've got that little false start at the beginning. And then it's... So, the good thing is you've already done half of the work here. You can already play the rhythm. So what you're doing is you're picking instead of strumming. The other good thing is you don't need to do any fancy stuff here. All that's happening is the chords are simply being picked instead of strum, strummed. So if I play G, down, down, up, up, down, up, instead I would pick. So can you hear that it's, that it's the same timing? We're just picking instead of strumming. On the music, you'll see that I have indicated two down strums to begin. Down, down. And then what we're going to do is pick the A string, the E string, the C string, and then the E string again. So down, down, pick. So strum twice. 
middle finger on the A string, ring finger on the E string, thumb on the C, pointy finger, so your is back on E. So you're going A, E, C, E strings, down, down, up, up, down. chord separately. Don't worry about trying to get all the chord changes and things in straight away. Simply just practice that pattern. Down, down, pick, up, down, up. If the strumming is too tricky, you can simplify that. You can do I hit the C string twice rather than doing down, down. So we pick bum, bum. So C, C, A, that for each chord. So if we take that G, G, C, D chord progression again, we play and then we change to C, D, then again, and you can do that for every single chord progression in the song. The true challenge will be picking that the full way through. Now if you really want to change it up and keep it as interesting as you can and challenge yourself, listen to the song, maybe you'll start with and then you'll build it up to little quiet picking to a little bit more with some strumming and then even more when we fully strum and again just for that extra little cherry on top maybe you can bar chord the bar chords we were speaking about earlier on you can G C and try just the exact same picking pattern here timing it doesn't matter what shape you're playing the main thing is building up the consistency so try it over and over again and see and see how it starts to progress try it on one chord to begin then pick another chord and try it on that chord again and again and again and finally when you feel like it's starting to get a bit of muscle memory it's starting to become more second nature fling it in together with those chord progressions slowly and over time it will be sounding great before you know it so let's hear a little variation. What we'll do is we'll play through what we played through before. We'll play through the intro, verse and chorus. But this time for each section, I'm going to slightly change how I play it. So listen up. This is a nice little example for you to try and gives you a little bit of a template or some ideas that you can then work from too. So starting from the verse, one, two, three, four.
So that is it. There we have it. A nice easy song with easy chord progressions, but we can make it our own, make it more challenging and just give it so much more flavour. As I said, you will get the full song sheet with the tabs, all of the lesson materials and some top tips on my Buy Me A Coffee page if you join the Tab Shack, where you'll also get access to all of my other lesson materials and previous lessons. And if you like this video, please leave me a little comment, maybe subscribe, tell your friends, because there will be plenty, plenty more to come. And don't forget to tag me in your videos too, because I love to see them. Thanks for watching and I will see you the next time.